In this short video, we're going to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines and the connection with slope. So for parallel lines, we're not going to talk too much about it. It should be pretty clear that uh, parallel lines, remember they never touch, they're always the same distance apart, they are going to have the same slope. And that includes a special case where you have vertical lines in both cases two parallel vertical lines have the same undefined slope horizontal lines both have if they're parallel to each other their slope is zero now for perpendicular lines and remember perpendicular lines mean that they they meet at a right angle a 90 degree angle uh, there is a connection between their slopes but it's not as simple as being equal to each other like with parallel lines. One thing that should be clear is that by just looking at them, if you have two sloping lines and they're perpendicular to each other, one is going to have a positive slope and the other one is going to have a negative slope. So again, here are two lines. They meet at a 90 degree angle and one is clearly going up as you go from left to right, and the other one is clearly going down as you go from left to right. Here's another example. Again, one has a positive slope. The line perpendicular to it must have a negative slope. And then uh, just one further note, just vertical lines are perpendicular to horizontal lines and vice versa. Here, we, the slopes are neither negative nor positive. Now, to see the connection, we have to do a little bit of geometry. And I'm not going to go through all the details here. This is the picture that we can see. That um, the, apart from having opposite signs, we can see that the run, the horizontal change, for one line is the vertical change for the other line and vice versa. The horizontal change for this line is the vertical change for that line. So in other words, the slope for the first line, which would be the blue line here, uh, would be the change in y sub 1, change in x sub 1. The slope for the second line, so we use the subscript to indicate that it's just the second line here, it would be its uh, vertical change over its horizontal change. But how is that connected to the slope of the other line? Well, I know one thing. It's going to have an opposite sign, so it would be a minus sign. That The delta y2 is the same as the delta x1 and the delta x2 is the same as the delta y1 and this delta x1 over delta y1 it's not the slope but it is the reciprocal of the slope of the first line and so what it tells me is that the relationship between the slopes of perpendicular lines is that they are opposite in sign and reciprocals of each other. Now, uh, we could also think of it as saying that if you have two perpendicular lines, the product of their slopes has to be negative 1. So let's look at some pairs of lines and let's see if we can determine if they are parallel to each other, perpendicular to each other, or neither. And it's really just going to come down to looking at the slopes. If the slopes are the same, they're parallel to each other. If the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other, or if their product equals negative 1, they're perpendicular. And if neither of those things are true, then they're neither per parallel nor perpendicular. So. Let's start with the first one. What do we have to do to determine the slope from an equation? We have to solve it for y. After we solve it for y, we look at the number multiplied times x 
In this case, it's negative 2 thirds. What about the second line in our first pair? Got to solve that for y. I'm going to first do what? Uh, subtract the 2x, then divide everything by negative 3. So I'll have a negative 2 divided by a negative 3. That's how I get positive 2 thirds. So uh, the slopes are opposite of each other, but there's no special relationship about slopes that are opposite of each other. And that conclusion then is that they are neither parallel nor are they perpendicular. Let me move this uh, out of the way or, okay, there we go. What about our second pair? Uh, it's a lot easier to solve for y in these cases uh, because y is already just multiplied by 1. So in the first case, I get y equals negative x plus 4, so my slope is negative 1. In the second line, I get y equals negative x minus 3, so the slope is also negative 1. The slopes are equal to each other, so the conclusion is that these lines are parallel. And for the last pair, in the first line, 2x plus 3y equals 6, I solve for y, I get uh, negative 2 thirds times x, so my first slope is negative 2 thirds. Solving for y in the second case, first I need to do what? Uh, subtract 3x, then divide everything by a negative 2. That's how I get 3 over 2, positive, right? Th negative divided by negative makes positive. And look, the slopes have opposite signs, and they are reciprocals, right? 3 over 2 versus 2 over 3, and that tells me that these lines are perpendicular. All right. So let's look at a couple more examples. Maybe we're told some information regarding a line. What we want to do is we want to find an equation of a line, not this line, this line is given, right? We have that given equation. So, but we want to find uh, an equation of a different line. And what we know is that it's parallel to this line and it passes through this point. So um, how can we go about it? Well, the slope of the given line is negative 13. So any line parallel to that, and that's one of the lines that we're looking for, right, is a line that's parallel to it, will also have a slope of m equals negative 13. So now I know the slope. I am given a point. I can use the point-slope form and write down an equation. All right, let's look at the next example. It's in this case, we're looking for a line uh, which is perpendicular to a given line and passing through a given point. So again, we're going to get our slope information from this line, but now it's perpendicular. So I need to find not the slope of that line, but its negative reciprocal. So the slope is 5, which I can always write as 5 over 1. And then I'll take the opposite of that and it's reciprocal. So it would be negative 1 over 5. And again, I'm given a point. I know the slope of the line. I can use the point slope form. Again, I don't like to leave this minus a minus. So let's go ahead and clean that up. And I'll have y plus 5 equals negative 1 fifth parentheses x minus 12.